What's up, Dirty Cones? Happy St. Crispin's Day. It's a wonderful day. Cody and I are driving to work. Um, I believe that uh, the cone who is named Beer Bong has come up with uh, the quickest way to world peace. But before we get into world peace, uh, so there's this guy somewhere in New England. He did not like, uh, or he does not like yoga pants. So he complained, and then uh, there was a parade of yoga pants in front of his house. <clears throat> I think this man is a genius. I too do not like yoga pants. <laughs> so, uh, I thought it was pretty funny. I'm like, this is what we're talking about? yoga pants, this guy, you know, he's got, uh, some people, I, should, uh, but I, I'm hoping that he was just joking, and he's very smart, and, uh, that he just figured out a way to get a bunch of beautiful women to walk by, and, uh, having said that, women are beautiful, yoga pants are awesome, if somebody walks by you, and you, you acknowledge that they're beautiful, you're like, <clears throat> all right, well, all right, and you keep going. You don't stare, you don't gawk. You know, freedom of speech is freedom to dress, freedom to not be oppressed, and the freedom to not be uh, visually raped. So, you get one look, you acknowledge you're beautiful, and you keep going. So no staring, right? Because we're good people. Um, so, this is this is the four step way to world peace as seen through the eyes of Cone Beerball. beautiful cone too. He's physically, mentally, spiritually, the dude has got it going on. He's going places. I have every faith in him that the Air Force would be a much better place having him in it. Uh, so what you need first is you need hugs. Hugs are very important. Uh, I've heard estimates. Uh, I've, I was taught 10 hugs a day for growth, uh, but AFW2 says 12. Uh, so we go with the doctor recommended 12 hugs a day to get better. You need at least three hugs a day to hold what you got. Um, so, the more hugs you can get, the better. Once you have hugs, or you have people who will hug you, you have a team. A team, you get teamwork, right? So hugs, teamwork. Teamwork is everything, right? And it will get you more hugs, and uh, hugs from little girls in New Orleans, and hugs from your buddies, and Lots of love. Because you're working together towards a goal, make the world a better place. Join a pair of rescue. Um, love and life, right? Once we have teamwork, then we can go get tacos, right? Because everybody loves tacos. If you're in St. Louis, I've said it before, check out the taco place. It is amazing. It's in the strip mall. It's behind some bingo casino place. Um, which is down the street from two hospitals of the same thing, but just across the street from each other only separated by a highway, but two exactly the same different hospitals. That's pretty weird. All right, wait, wait. Once we have tacos, because everybody loves tacos, we will achieve world peace. And so that's our four-step process to world peace, to uh, make America rage again. <laughs> so today, like I said, is St. Christmas Day. And... Uh, I want to nominate, okay, so I was born and raised Catholic, 11 years Catholic school. It did not invite me back to the 12th year, but that's all right. I went across the street to the public school and uh, made the honor roll. So, <laughs> worst student at uh, one school, uh, not a bad student the other one. So, uh, oh, that's, that's a funny thing too. I, we'll talk about that one later. So, um, Raised Catholic, uh, the, uh, so saints, saints are very important, right? And, uh, they give someone to emulate, they give, you know, and I've, like, I'm, I'm nominating Jocko for sainthood, you know, uh, Mahatma Gandhi minus his sex life, close to sainthood, um, or, or maybe even, we won't 
we'll get into the Gandhi theme. That's a, that's a, if you want to Google Gandhi and very beautiful person, world peace, achieved uh, freedom for India, uh, had some offs, maybe. I don't know, but no one's perfect, so believe me, I got my own. Um, we all do, right? Nobody's perfect. So, seeing someone emulate, someone to look up to, you know, uh, I kind of use them kind of as lucky charm, so you know, you get the little, and it's got St. Michael. St. Michael is the uh, patient saint for um, paratroopers. So, paratroopers, pararescue is good enough for me. Uh, I jump. So, you know, you get that. And then, uh, you know, uh, St. Peter walked on water. I need some of that. You know, so you get all these, like, little good luck charms. You're not, you're not supposed to use them that way, but I'm a superstitious person. Um, you know, if it worked, it didn't change. You know, I mean, not quite like, uh, you know, some people are like, you know what? 99 straight days I get shot at. I'm keeping wearing this uniform. I'm not washing it. <laughs> you know, you got that kind of, you know, our pictures that are uh, strange with notions like that. I'm not that bad. I, I, I just have little things that, I don't know, remind me to stay safe. Uh, and when I stay safe, this means cover and move and aggression and security. You know, good offense is a good defense. So, leaning into it, not leaning out. Um, so, uh, today, being St. Christmas Day, I learned yesterday that I always, do well, what they are the, um, patron saints for cobblers. So those are guys that used to make shoes. Uh, there's not too many cobblers left, so I am nominating, uh, the two brothers, Crispin and Crispianos, for patron saint of, uh, Time soft assets, PJs, seals, recon marines, mm, uh, green berets. Anybody, anybody's go, going to dive school, right? <clears throat> because so they were martyrs for the cause, and the first time they tried to kill them, they put uh, heavy weights around their neck, threw them in the water, and the brothers survived. So I'm gonna go with. They were either treading or drown proofing, uh, or possibly just standing there. <laughs> well, that right, so they weren't standing there, but uh, somehow they survived. And that sounds like a, a big tough frog man, you know, or a PJ, or any other kind of guy that makes it through dive school because you are treading with weight. Maybe not that much, <laughs> but uh, so. There's my nomination. No more cobblers. Uh, the brothers Crispin Crispianos. Uh, if you get a chance, uh, watch Henry V. Yeah, Jocko said to read it. Uh, I would love for you guys to read it, but I know a lot of you guys aren't readers. So, uh, audiobook, maybe. <clears throat> um, audiobook or watch a movie. Kenneth Bradnaugh or... Um, Sir Lawrence Olivier. <sighs> so that's about it. Just wanted to share that with you guys. Hope oh, everything's going well. Hope train's going well. Oh, uh, so the guys in New York, email me. I'll connect you. Uh, don't ask for last names on uh, on internet. You know, just in case. I know people are like boats. We don't all know where you live, <laughs> you know, it's like, eh, you know, I'm not worried. If, if it comes and shows up, it comes and shows up, like, it's, it's not, you know, but I, don't, I can't take the same liberty with other people, so no last names, and, you know, email me if you got something HIPAA or, you know, otherwise. Um, there was one other thing, and then I totally blew it. I'll think about it later. A booty. You know what? Alright, that, that was a good thing. Has anyone noticed uh, my words lately? I said a boot. I think I've been listening to too many Canadian uh, podcasts. I apologize. I don't know what that's about. <laughs> so, 
Have a good one, Dirty Guns. Train hard. Ooh, yeah.